Hello, my little worms, and welcome back to another episode of... Wait, hang on. This is an entirely new series. Welcome, for the very first time, to Things They Said on Discord. The series where I uh, randomly go back through my chat history with night, uh, the 60-something thousand messages I've sent tonight, and look for the, some of the most random, crazy, like, stupid stuff I've ever said, and randomly read it out in a condescending, Get jovial tone. <laughs> now, before we get into the Discord ones, I want to just give you an idea of some of the stuff that I say. So I'm going to give you a quote that I've written in uh, a text file <laughs> of something I said that I can't even remember why I said it or what was the context anymore. But all right. Uh, I am neither a butterfly nor am I presently standing in a river. I am saddened by both of these factors. <laughs> when did I say this? Why did I say this? I don't know. Sometime in 2021. <laughs> and now, on to the first of these bloody Discord messages. Drop the bean, let us rock. Brain, pretty sure it's beat, but sure, you do you. So yeah, I, I was rambling on a clothing website and I clearly misread what was written on the stop. Uh, <laughs> this is one of the most logical of the messages we are going to be seeing today. Our amazing second message, of course, is, thank you, Brain. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Horrible histories! Four fart jokes, three skeletons, two slapped heads, and a douchebag in a thick wig. <laughs> yes, I'm a big fan of horrible histories. I don't watch that in years though, but. Oh god, that. So funny! I need to rewatch that. I think it's on Netflix. It was at some point. I don't know if it still is. Netflix be like that, you know? Our dramatic third Discord message, of course, is. <sighs> oh my god, brain. I am in Ago. Nico, Nico, ni! <laughs> I feel like I've said this one a couple times, uh, since then. <laughs> you know what? Fair. Fair me. Very fair. I think I'm going to stop, uh, stop counting these. Uh, the next one is... Just sitting here in silence, getting ready for bed, and then I randomly say, completely unprompted, Little Miss Muffet is an allegory for racial discrimination. Okay, brain? I mean, I guess I can see what you mean, but... Huh? So, y yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes Brain says stuff like that. Sometimes I don't understand why Brain says stuff like that. It just comes out. And then it's said. <laughs> Usually to no one. But instead of just leaving the thing be said to no one, I send them tonight. Because <laughs> why not? Now this next one uh, doesn't have my uh, profile thing next to it because it was in a long line of messages and I didn't feel like including the other ones above it which were about Critical Role. So, God, I am so on edge walking around this quiet house now. I know that if someone broke in, I'd hear a loud noise or something, but still, monkey brain goes, enemies everywhere, defend yourself, coward. Now, I wonder if you've noticed uh, a theme with every single message that I've specifically chosen for today's video. Every single one contains the word brain, <laughs> because I knew that when I say stupid stuff, a lot of the time I will say something like, thank you, brain. So I was like, hmm, I could probably find a lot of my stupid crap if I just write in brain. And I was right. So, thank you, brain. Just a small town town. Living in a smaller town. I took the midnight town going to the town. That, that's exactly how that song goes, I'm pretty sure. Now, I'm going to provide a tiny bit of context here. I was talking about a uh, art teaching uh, book. <laughs> and that's all I'm really going to give you. So far, not sure if I learned anything. To be fair, I only read the first page on how to do bodies. And tried to listen to what they said. Until Brain said crap. <laughs> Brain did, did, did say crab. I drew a crab. Guys, I drew a crab. <laughs> and the last of the brain ones. I've actually got two bonus ones after this, but the last of the brain ones. God damn brain. So, for this demonic ritual, we are going to need a virgin and a goat. Well, with you here, I think we have both covered already. My god, but it feels wrong for me to read out Chris's lines. Maybe I need Chris for the future ones of these. Mm, that, that might be fun. Love when Brain is randomly savage, if only I was actually savage to a person. Not just to the empty air around me. But I better really shit up a ghost. <laughs> now, these last two bonus ones have a slightly different theme to them. Why did I just say, the devil, to the tune of The Simpsons? <laughs> I don't know me, I, I don't know. Why did I just say, Tonka truck, to the tune of You Are King? <laughs> I don't know me. I, I don't know. This one was uh, vaguely recent. Uh, I, I, I don't know. 
I am never gonna know. For any, any of these messages, I don't know why my brain just says things sometimes, and why I have to vocalize them, and then send them on Discord, and then take pictures of them on Discord, and then post them into a YouTube video. I don't know why I do any of these things, but I do. Because I'm Day. And we have reached the conclusion of the first amazing episode of Things Day Says on Discord. Woo. It always annoys me how, like, because of my position of my mic, this arm is very hard to move because there's things here. Not sure if anyone's ever, like, noticed that I have trouble moving that specific arm in my tracking in my typical videos, but this is why. And also, I didn't uh, mention that I've got a big blanket of a dragon behind me now. Because it's cool. <laughs> Don't judge me. Wait, how do I do my usual outro if I can't hold up the... Good enough. If you like the video, be sure to leave a like, and why not subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And ring that notification bell. Wrong direction. Say wrong direction. There we go. And ring the notification bell. It does something, and I still don't know what. And follow me on Twitter for updates and to see my thumbnails in a larger size. I'll see you guys in the next one. Roll the outro. Goodbye, everybody. I gave that bastard what he deserved. funeral fit for a king